back with a video today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this Vegas girls night out or day night out glammed look it's not too dark and bold because some people are scared to play with dark colors I will also be showing you guys the outfit that I'm wearing as well as my shoes and talking about shoes I wanted to talk to you guys about something so um when was it uh, last weekend I went out and when I went out with my girlfriends somebody actually stepped on my toenail and broke it and then my girlfriend broke my shoe I was a hot mess okay and then last night when I was out for Halloween I saw a ton of girls walking around with their shoes off that is the most disgusting unsanitary thing you could possibly do we all want to look super glam with our hair outfit and shoes and we all know that beauty is pain sometimes because you are going to sit there and suffer in these shoes but what I do is I carry my pair of flat outs in my purse and honestly I'm not the only one that has used these before I'll carry these and friends of mine have used my shoes before I pull these little things out out of my purse and I pop them on and just a little quick tip what I like to do too is like when I leave the house and I'm walking especially if you go to like a casino here you have to like get out go through the parking garage walk across the casino by that time and then you stand in line your feet are hurting so what I do I just wear my little flat outs and then I just carry my shoes with me and when it's time to go I just pop them on they're so easy to fold up I just roll them or fold them you can even put them like if you're carrying like a little clutch mine fit in my clutch and this is like the clutch that I carry with me all the time you put them in a little ziploc bag or something when you're carrying them in there so they're not touching your other stuff I don't just use the flat outs when I go out to the club or to a party I actually leave them in my car because I do work an office job and I have to wear heels or you know be business casual so I'm wearing heels or pumps or something like that and by the time I'm done with an eight or nine hour shift and I head home and have to go to the grocery store or run an errand or whatever who wants to be running around in heels I sure don't so what I do is I just pull them out pop them on and then I just do my thing so obviously my flat outs are a beauty essential for me they are a must because they do save me a lot of pain and you don't want to cut your feet when you're out clubbing or you don't want to end up with some sores and blisters on your feet that is not cute ladies especially when we got like the little french manicure going and then you got like a busted toe and that is not sexy ladies and you know I'm always telling you guys that you got to keep your feet on point so I'm going to show you guys the ones that I have and I know that these come in different colors they're washable they're durable they have a good sole at the bottom of them so you don't have to worry about like stepping on a rock or anything like that that's going to hurt because there's some that are just like fabric and if you step on a rock you know what that feels like it's like stepping on a Lego when you go in your kids room it's like the worst thing in the world so let me show you guys what mine look like so this is the little box that they come in. They're called flat out of heels. These are rollable or you can go ahead and fold them to put them in your little clutch when you go out or even leave them in your car. They also come with this little bag. Like for me, when I leave them in my car, I just stick them in there. You can just put them in this little bag here. They come in some cute colors and styles. They're super comfortable to walk in. They come from size 4 all the way to size 14. They're machine washable so you guys can use them multiple times. They're long lasting. And I know that I've seen, um, I think it was Jennifer Lopez, Eva Longoria, and Lala Anthony wear these and I have the all black ones because obviously black goes with everything but there's so many of them if you guys are interested about the little flat out of heels I'll link them down below they're kind enough to provide 15% off for you guys you all know I love to save you some money anytime I love a product I ask for a discount code for you guys save your feet don't get blisters don't cut yourself don't be that girl walking across the club with no shoes on it is not cute so I'm gonna show you guys how I came up with this look and don't forget to follow me on Instagram snapchat and all that good stuff all the products are usually linked up below and let's get started all right so to save us some time I've already primed my face and put my foundation on here I'm just quickly showing you guys that I am growing my brows back so you will see that up close and personal soon we're starting off with the Maybelline studio eye gel and we're going to be priming our lids priming and also using this as a shadow base and as you guys can see I do have tape on the side because I do want a very clean edge once we're done with this look here pretty much I'm just using a brush to get into those smaller areas you want to make sure that you stay underneath your crease and you can also make this more dark if you want it to be bolder 
Next, we're gonna be working with Charcoal and Black from the Laura Pro 2 palette, or wait, is this the one or the two? I think it's the two. And we're just going to start with Charcoal and we're gonna slowly build it in the crease and on the outer part of the eye. So now we're gonna start taking a little bit of the black with this small Sigma brush and slowly dust it on to the same areas, but we wanna use as little as black as possible. I mean, if you do want it to be more bold and more dark, you can go ahead and make this more intense. So for the eyes, this is what I'm using. This is the City Color White Gold. It's like a moussey cream here. I'm showing you guys if you put it over black what it does or if you use it by itself how it looks. So you have the option. And I'm just taking a flat concealer brush. You wanna make sure that you use something like this, nothing with soft bristles because it won't blend. And I'm just going to slowly just put it over the black. If you do want to make this more intense, add more black base to it. So you guys can see, I kinda went like in the middle in between and then you want to stay under your crease so just go ahead and apply it and you can also build this to be a little more vibrant by adding it slowly a little goes a long way Going in with that Sigma brush that we used, the little one, with no additional product, I'm slowly dragging some of that uh, gray or the charcoal and black, slowly bringing it in on the crease from that middle part of the eye into the inner corner as you can see. Once we are done, we're just going to remove the tape. I actually kind of smear the edges a little bit because I don't like it being so sharp, but you guys can leave it like that if you like that sharpness. Then I'm just taking those two concealers, which are my favorite, and I'm just going to conceal my under eyes. I'm just taking this translucent Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to set the under eyes very, very gently. I couldn't find my Chanel liner at the moment so I just took this black liner here and I just ran it at the bottom of the waterline there and then I'm just going to be going back into the Lorac palette taking the color black and then we're just going to gently smoke it out. As usual, I'm just taking my Anastasia in the color of Fawn to contour the side of my cheekbones. For my first highlighter, I'm taking this one here. It's more of like a yellow tone. This is by Jouer. I hope I said that right. So I'm just going to pop this on the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow.
For the first blush, I'm using this one by ColourPop. I've been using and loving this one a lot. I believe it's called Quarters. And I'm just going to stipple this one on first very gently. After that, I'm taking Becca's uh, Wild Honey, I believe it's called, and I'm just going to pack that on over it. For the powder highlighter, because we can never have enough highlight, I'm taking the Too Faced Duo Candlelight Glow, just the yellow side, and then I'm just going to dust it on the same areas that I've already put the cream highlighter on. I'm just going to set this with the Inglot Makeup Fixer, which is my holy grail. And then I'm just going to lightly coat my lashes with the L'Oreal Telescopic because I am going to be applying falsies. And then off camera, I am going to do my brows and you guys are gonna see some bushy brows here soon. The lashes that I use, and excuse how ghetto fabulous they look, I did cut these in half. They're the Kiss Ritzy Natural Lashes. After that, I just coat in a little bit of the too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to blend my lashes along with the false lashes. After that, I did find my Chanel liner, thankfully, and then I'm just going to line my waterline. Of course, for the lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Nude Liner and line the lips. And I wanted to go with a nude color. You can go ahead and go bold if that's what is going to flow to your boat. But I wanted to stick to a more nude color. After that, I'm taking Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup. It's like a nudish pink color, as you can see there. Um, I'm going to be coating that off with also Gerard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope. And then after that, just in the center of the lips, you guys will see that I'm going to be applying a little bit of the OCC Lip Tar in the color Hollywood. It's that little highlight color. You've been seeing me use that in a lot of videos lately, but it is my favorite because it just adds a little bit of highlight to the lip. Going back in with that Too Faced yellow toned highlighter, I'm just going to pop this on my bushy brow bone there and then I'm going to pop it in the inner tear duct of my eye and that will complete the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. All products are linked down below as well as the flat out of heels. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.